everybody, it's Emmy. I'm back. Um, I'm back. I'm trying to quickly do this video in the midst of packing. That's the reason for the um, the lazy hairstyle. <laughs> um, busy mama and busy, just busy in general. So, yeah. For those of you that think I'm young already, I probably look a lot younger with uh, stupid pigtails, but at any rate. And um, so this time I'm eating Austria. So I've received this package a while ago, but I've been so swamped that I haven't been able to um, film it. So it was sent to me by a lovely viewer named Tanya. She wrote me a great letter and sent me a beautiful package in a bright yellow box. And so Tanya says, is studying Japanese culture in, in university, so um, I don't want to give away too much of her information, but um, so she has a great interest in Japan. So I hope, Tanya, one day that you'll be able to come and visit Japan for yourself and try some of these treats. But let's get started. Um, because my German Christmas video, I ate some Mozart Kuglin, Kuglin? Mozart, I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but they are um, these little, like, kind of Mozart truffles that are filled with um, marzipan. She said these are the ones that most people think of when they think of Mozart Kuglin, this brand. Or wrapped in this um, gold foil and it says Salzburg Mozart Kuglin. It's a chocolate ball and I'm guessing inside is marzipan, so let's try it. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Mm -hmm. So look at inside. Milk chocolate outside. Some kind of I'm not sure what the next layer is, maybe kind of a nut. And then in the very middle, which I haven't quite gotten, mmm, there's a little bit of marzipan. And for those of you that haven't had marzipan, I think you should try it. It's really good. There's different varieties, but marzipan is just almond paste. This is really delicious. It looks like in English to me it says manor, but I think it's pronounced mano. She says this is probably the most traditional Viennese treat, kind of a uh, waffle or wafer, sandwiched with maybe hazelnut paste or something. Oh yeah. Layers of thin wafer. Can you see that? Sandwiched between, um, in between looks like a chocolate paste. Mmm. And it's good. So I would say it's a lot like um, Nutella, or Nutella as some people call it. Nutella bumped up a little bit, so it has a stronger, kind of nuttier, toastier flavor than Nutella, but quite good. And light, not overly sweet. In my first Germany video, which is my first Emma Eats video, I tried a candy called Nim Too Soft. Um, this looks like the same company, Nim Too, but it's called Lock Gumi. All different shapes and beautiful colors, really. Can you see that? So, cute little shapes. There's an orange wedge. Yeah, banana. Uh, looks like a mint leaf, green mint leaf. Um, a cherry, and maybe a pineapple or a lemon wedge. Looks like a lemon wedge. I like lemon, so let's try that. Ooh, very very chewy. Very chewy gummy snack. Good. It's like a gummy bear. They're like gummy bears. You can see how soft they are. And the flavor is similar to a gummy bear. See? They're a little stretchy. Mmm, I like orange too. What is that? What would you guess that flavor is? Mint? Mmm. I don't know. That's mysterious fruit flavor. Maybe apple? This is really interesting. This is called um, Hundskraften. She said that this is a kind of um, cake, very Austrian, that um, she says that travel really well. Looks like they might be like raspberry. So let's try it. Mmm. Wow. It's chocolatey. And raspberry. Kind of not chocolatey, but it really tastes like there's some liqueur in there. Mm, it's quite good. She sent me a Kinder Country. So I've had a lot of Kinder chocolates in the past, but never a Kinder Country. It looks like it has stuff in it. it smells great, so let's try it. Mmm! 
That's really good. So there's a chocolate layer. It's all coated in chocolate. And then there's a cream layer. And then on the very bottom is um, a cereal layer. That's really good. And the cereal tastes like um, honey smacks. Choco Schlumpen, which Schlumpen means, I guess, umbrella. So I think that's pretty self-explanatory. They're going to be chocolate umbrellas. But I think I'll go for red. Look how cute it It matches my shirt. So there's striped little umbrella. Beautiful cone of milk chocolate. On a little handle. How cute is that? Okay, let's try it. Here we go. Mmm. Really good. So, it's not, you know, anything so surprising. It's just a chocolate, umbrella shaped chocolate, but delicious. Great quality milk chocolate. A really fun, delightful way to eat it. Kasale Choco Mangos. So, Tanya says these are usually banana flavored um, and shaped like a banana, like shaped like bananas. But as you guys know, or most of my viewers know, I don't really like bananas. So she said she was able to find, Tanya was able to find a monster nerve, which is mango. And I love mango. Ah, great. Very Japanese. It says open here. <laughs> Ooh. This is great! Ta-da! These are beautiful! They're shaped like little mangoes. How cute! And it smells fruity. It smells like a mango. So let's try it. Here we go. Whoa! Interesting. It does taste kind of mango-y. That's what it looks like on the inside. But the texture is very soft and um, a little bit spongy. You know what it tastes like. The texture is very similar to the Polish candy I had. That was called Potaji. What was it? Milkovich Potaji. Potaji. It was the one that was vanilla on the inside and chocolate on the outside and very like a wet marshmallow. Exactly the same texture, different flavor, completely different flavor, and the chocolate in this is a bit thicker. Um, it does have a mango flavor, fruity mango, uh, but it's more like a marshmallow. And these are called rum cocos. So it says liquid filling. Ooh, when you open it, it smells like, not surprisingly, coconut. It's like um, Malibu rum. Nope. Just a chocolate ball. It's probably the size of like a Whopper. You US people. Whoppers. So let's see what's inside. Wow! That was really surprising. Wow. So it is liquid inside. <laughs> Um, I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> and I think it is rum. So, let's just eat the whole thing. So, I think these are alcoholic. Let's try them again. I don't think I like it. <laughs> the alcohol fades, it's okay. Um, it's coconutty and chocolate, which are a great combination. But the rum is very strong. Um, and very strong, like a liqueur. So it's very alcoholic. So um, very aggressive. Um, I don't particularly care for it. <laughs> if you like rum and you feel like coconut, this might be your kind of thing. <laughs> Vodbeden, 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 something. Wow, look at that, that's so cool. Look, has this white 
coating on the front and back. I thought that was paper, but I think it's icing. In the middle, it looks like to be like chopped like berries. Let's try it. Maybe I'm supposed to take that off. Am I supposed to peel this off? I think so. I don't think that's icing. <laughs> I just ate paper. <laughs> it's got a strange styrofoam texture. A bit like those flying saucers. Maybe it's edible. Is that far? Really good. Slightly tangy. Mmm. Very earthy. And, um, has a texture of, like a, kind of like a Fig Newton. Too sweet. Very healthful. Delicious. It's got, it's kind of jammy. Alright, so that's it. That's Emmy Eats Austria. So, I have a baby that's waking up, so I gotta get going. But Tanya, thank you so much for sharing your country with me. And, um, like all my viewers, for sending treats from their countries. It's been a delight trying to, you're trying snacks from your country. So thanks everybody for sharing and thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!